एक्सपर्ट डिटेक्टिव्स समरी द स्टोरी एक्सपर्ट डिटेक्टिव्स इज रिटन बाय शारदा द्विवेदी इट रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड टू मेजर कैरेक्टर्स माया एंड सेवन और निशद माया एंड निशद आर सिब्लिंग्स ऑफ एज 10 एंड 7 रेस्पेक्टिवली द स्टोरी इज अबाउट देयर अटेम्प्ट टू फाइंड आउट द रियल आइडेंटिटी ऑफ अ मैन कॉल्ड मिस्टर नाथ As the two walked towards their mother's clinic they began to talk about Mr Nath Mr Nath was described as a strange unfriendly and mad man who never talked to anyone and was mannerless He had been living at Shankar house for over a year and had made no friends Children in the neighborhood were scared of Mr Nath Mr Nath had some scars on his face Maya believed that he received them in an encounter with the police Maya was suspicious of Mr Nath and believed that he was a crook but Seven had some kind of sympathy for Mr Nath he believed that Mr Nath was poor and lonely Maya was confident that he was a crook and might have hidden his loot somewhere in the room Both of them were unsure how Mr Nath was able to pay or his food when he worked nowhere. They decided to investigate the matter. Mr Ramesh, a restaurant worker, carried food to Mr Nath. Nishad learned from him that Mr Nath took meal a day and always had the same chapati, dal and vegetable. He paid his bill immediately and tipped Mr Ramesh well. He also came to know that a tall, fair and stout man with spectacles visited Mr Nath on Sundays. The visitor was talkative unlike Mr Nath. Maya believed the visitor could be Mr Nath's accomplice in crimes. Maya listed out their findings on a paper with catching a crook as its title Nisha did not seem to be interested in what Maya was reading out all he could tell her was that Mr Nath was a poor and lonely man who did not have any friends he was sympathetic to Mr Nath Maya still believed that Mr Nath was crook difference in opinions led to an argument between the siblings Maya wanted to expose the real identity of Mr Nath Nishad wanted to know the reason behind Mr Nath's loneliness. He wanted to befriend Mr Nath as he was sorry for the man. Maya wanted Nishad to stay away from Mr Nath. However, Nishad did not want to change his mind. The heated argument between the siblings ended as Nishad walked out of the room leaving Maya and her findings. Poem Mystery of the Talking Fan Mystery of the Talking Fan is a poem written by Modi Rubin It is a very short poem it deals with the speaker's wondering about a ceiling fan in the room The speaker refers to the ceiling as a human being and addresses it as he The fan is an electrical fan it makes a lot of noise The noise made by the fan is referred to as electrical chatter. The speaker feels that the fan is trying to say something. He or she is curious to know what the fan is trying to convey but fails to hear it. To the speaker, it is the fan's way of communicating his emotions. At the same time, he or she thinks it does not matter. what the fan is intending to say the speaker feels one day somebody would oil it and the noise would stop spoiling the mystery about his chatter oiling would make him run as still as water the speaker is disappointed that he or she will never be able to know what the mysterious talk is